Hey, what's going on, fellas? How we doing, man? Tonelli here. Today we're looking at um, some double play feeds from the shortstop position. And we're going to talk about throwing the ball uphill, why it's important, how to do it, um, and all that stuff. So before we get into it, uh, check out the description box below. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. You guys will get 50% off your first Plate Crate if you click the link in the description box. Um, it'll take you over to their website. And then you just put in the code or coupon code Antonelli. And you will get 50% off your first play crate. So check that out. All right. So here's um, a couple of major league shortstops. I won't tell you who they are. You guys can kind of, let's see if you guys can guess who they are. I'll play the video a couple of times so we can watch them. I think this is them down kind of working out uh, <clears throat> in the off season. Um, so we've got, you know, ball hit to their right. And they're feeding the ball to the second baseman. And when you watch them, you notice that. You know, first couple things. One, they're feeding the ball with a lower arm slot, right? So they're throwing the ball from a lower arm slot. There's one. There's two. So both guys are very similar, right? They're tilted over. They're throwing from a lower arm slot. They're trying to throw the ball uphill. So they're staying in their legs and they're throwing from here. They're not standing up, coming over the top and throwing downhill. So if you throw from a lower arm action, if you try to stay in your legs and throw from a lower arm action here or a lower arm slot, you're going to throw the ball uphill. It's going to force you to throw the ball uphill. Same thing here. Here's the ball in my legs. Lower arm slot, ball's got to travel up, right? The reason we want to do that, a couple of reasons. One, you know, when we do this, when we stay down and we throw the ball uphill, we're going to have a tendency, again, to miss or to throw the ball up. And anytime we're throwing to our double play partner, we want to, if we're going to miss, we want to miss high, above the waist. It is much easier for a second baseman to turn a double play when the ball is either at his waist or up here, okay? Where it becomes difficult is once it gets below that waist level because then as a second baseman, and this is the same thing if you're a second baseman feeding the ball to the shortstop. It's the same principle. You want to feed the ball uphill. It's hard for the double play partner. When the ball gets lower, when it gets below his waist, he has to decide, okay, do I flip my glove over and keep my fingers down, or do I try to get down low and and catch the ball with my fingers up? And it becomes difficult because it will handcuff players. It gets really, really tough to at the last minute, you know, do I flip over? Do I not flip over? So the lower the ball is, the tougher it is, you know, for the double play partner to turn that ball. And so if you're gonna miss, it is so much easier, you know, if you were to miss here, okay. If you were to throw this ball above his head right here, that is still an easy turn for him because he's set up, his fingers are up, he just raises his glove, he catches the ball over his head, and he turns double play. But once that ball gets to be around your shins, your knees, you know, that is way more difficult. So always err on missing high. And the way you do that, again, is by staying in your legs, by using a lower arm slot, and by throwing the ball uphill. Now, to practice this, you know, one reason why a lot of players, you know, this is tough for a lot of younger players is they don't practice different arm slots. So, you know, most young players are taught, you know, to throw at a high arm slot. And so when they go to, you know, when they're working before the game, they're getting loose, you know, they're going to use that same arm slot all the time. And when they go to shortstop, they're going to use it and they're going to use it at no matter what position they go to and no matter what the ball is. And, the truth is to be a good infielder, especially middle infielder, you're going to have to learn how to use different arm slots because you're going to use different arm slots on double plays. You're going to use different arm slots depending on which way you're moving. If you're moving this way, you're typically going to drop down a little bit more. If you're moving this way, you can throw the ball. And again, now we're talking about throwing the ball across the diamond. If you move this way, it's much easier to throw with a lower arm slot. You move this way, you can throw with a higher arm slot. You get a longer throw. And so, you know, you're going to have to utilize a bunch of different arm slots. And so I recommend that when you're practicing before the game, when you're warming up, you know, 
we call it warming up with your partner. But when you're training, you're, you're throwing and you're catching skills, you should practice from different arm slots. Throw some from over the top. Throw some from, you know, three quarters. Throw some side out. Throw some down here. Get into your position. Act like you just turned a double play, like this ball's coming right here when you're warming up. And, you know, throw from that arm slot. That's how you're going to get better at it. And then when you get into your double play work and you get in your reps, make sure you're utilizing this, you know, stay low, throw the ball uphill. And the more you do it, the easier it will become. And this will be really, really natural. You know, this looks really smooth and it looks like, you know, some people might be like, oh, that's fancy or whatever. That, that's the way the play should be made. That's giving your double play partner the best feed. That's putting you in a position to give him the best feed possible. To miss high, if you're going to miss, throw the ball uphill. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. Let me know if you have any questions. Remember, this is not just for the shortstop. It's for second baseman as well. So you're going to, you know, you get a ball at second base. And you're going to turn it with the shortstop. You're going to do the same exact thing. All right. So, um, again, hopefully this helps you guys out. Check out the description box below. Again, you guys can plug in Antonelli on um, the coupon code by clicking the link at 50% off your first plate rate. Uh, we also have a bunch of links to books and training tools that I think you guys will find useful. Um, it will help you guys out. Check out our Instagram, Answer My Baseball, our Twitter feed, Man Until I Nine. I'm posting videos all the time for you guys. Check out our website, AntonelliBaseball.com. You can get more information on our teams and also information on how to work with us and our staff. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate it. I hope this helps you guys out. And we will talk to you later.